Hello friends, it's Kyle from WISE. You know, it's like a wise man always said, if you're not getting better, then what the heck are you doing? <laughs> That's why we're launching the brand new WISE Cam Floodlight V2. A 2K security floodlight camera with 160 degree wide angle view. Today we're gonna unbox this beautiful new floodlight camera and show you how it works. All right, we've got the WISE Cam Floodlight V2. You're gonna find the quick start guide. Right here underneath the floodlight in this box right here, you're going to find all the mounting hardware that you're going to need to install your WISE Cam Floodlight V2. Now you'll notice when you take your floodlight out of the box for the first time, it's oriented like this with the camera mounted upside down. We did that so it was more efficient for shipping. But now I'm gonna show you how to adjust it and get it ready to install. First, I'm just gonna move the lights to the side, then flip the camera right side up. Make sure that the lights are adjusted so that the hooded part on the top is facing forward, and bam, you're ready to roll. We have made several major updates to this version of the floodlight compared to its previous generation, and let me break it down for you real quick. First and foremost, we upgraded the camera to be a 2K HD color night vision camera. So you can enjoy crystal clear 2K resolution, especially at night. Because we all know the devil is in the details. Or maybe it was just Brad, your hypersensitive HOA president who measures your grass with a ruler. Because <laughs> he's also the devil, yeah. This floodlight camera also allows you to see more and worry less because we upgraded the field of view. The previous generation had 130 degree field of view. This bad boy has 160 degree field of view. That gives you 50% more coverage so you can see everything that's happening, whether it's in front of your house, behind your house, wherever it is, you're gonna be able to see it with one single camera. Now those are two major upgrades and we haven't even talked about the lights yet. Of course, this is a floodlight light camera and the lumens on this has increased to 2800 lumens that is 200 lumens greater than its previous generation and is enough to light up an entire space with a floodlight camera this bright the dark doesn't stand a chance and speaking of lights this floodlight camera also has our new ambient mode when enabled the floodlight provides constant low level light and then automatically switches to increase brightness when motion is detected. It's like a reverse nightlight for crooks and creepers. And don't you worry, bucko. We definitely still included the micro SD card slot so that you can record to your camera locally 24 seven. Now, this dome shaped sensor on the bottom of the camera is the PIR sensor or the passive infrared sensor. This sensor provides up to 270 degrees of motion detection. With that much coverage, you're gonna eliminate the blind spots and trigger the lights faster than ever. And of course, it has all those familiar features that you love, like two-way audio, a 105 decibel super loud siren, dusk to dawn automation, which of course will automatically turn the lights on when the sun goes down and off when the sun goes up. And it works with your favorite smart assistants. And don't forget that you can get even more smart AI features when you subscribe to Cam Plus. For example, you can get person detection and package detection, you can also get that motion activated voice warning that says, hi, you are currently being recorded. And you can also choose to have the lights triggered when only a person or a vehicle is detected. That's pretty wise. And finally, we've made setup for this thing easier than ever before. We've re-engineered the way that the floodlight pairs with the WISE app, so you don't have to scan any more QR codes. It uses access point pairing, so it will connect to the phone automatically. By the way, did I mention that it is available in white and black? What? Now let's get this hunk of hunk of burning security camera connected to the Wise app and show you how it works. Now I have a special cord that has powered a Wise Cam floodlight right here, and now I'm going to add it in the usual way in the Wise app. You first start by clicking the plus sign in the upper left hand corner of the Wise app. Add device search for cameras, and then WiseCam Floodlight V2. Remember, if you're installing this for the first time, don't worry, the app will guide you through step-by-step -step how to install the floodlight. It's super easy. If a guy like me can do it, <laughs> you can too. After it's done peering, you'll hear setup completed. 
Now that we've got the camera connected to the app, we can do a lot of amazing things. Number one, you're gonna see right down there in the lower left-hand corner, the SD card. When you have an SD card inserted, all you have to do is tap on the SD card and you can see a list and scrub through all of the different events that have happened on your floodlight. Next, you can take a photo or a video recording. On that bell, you're gonna see that's where you activate the siren. So there are a few important settings that you can change by tapping on the live view. It will bring up an overlay of a few different graphics. In the upper left hand corner, you're gonna see that 2K. All right, that will let you know that you are recording and streaming in 2K. Make sure that it is set to 2K. Next, in the lower left hand corner, you're gonna see a floodlight icon. When you tap on the floodlight icon, it will activate the lights. That is how you manually turn the lights on and off. Next in the middle, you'll see the microphone in the speaker. That is how you activate the two-way talk feature so you can speak to someone through the floodlight through the Wise app. And in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a toggle that will allow you to put the camera view in landscape mode. Now let's talk about some advanced settings by tapping on the gear in the upper right hand corner. First is detection settings. You can see that you can change the camera sensitivity from low to high, and you can also customize the detection range from the PIR sensor. You do that by sliding the toggle left to right. On the left side is near and it will narrow the detection range. And on the right is far, which will widen the detection range. And don't forget that you can tap on each one of those sections to turn on or off the different areas of detection. Next is event recording. This is where you can customize the type of events that you want to record from your floodlight camera. Next is notifications, which will again, notify you of the things that you specifically want to be notified of. Next is advanced settings. This is where you manage your micro SD card as well as the camera status light, turn the watermark on and off and night vision mode. Let's talk about how you can customize your experience with the actual floodlight. That of course is under the floodlight settings. This is where you can go and manually adjust the brightness level of the floodlight, all the way from 1% bright, all the way to the full on 100%, blind your eyes out, get those baddies off your property bright. Next, there's a section where you can determine how and when you want those motion activated lights to trigger. You can set the different sensitivities, a balance sensitivity, low sensitivity, high sensitivity, and you can also set timers. So how long do you want the lights to stay on after motion has been detected? You can do all of that right here in this section. Next, this is where you activate ambient light mode. And when I turn ambient light mode on, I can set the level of brightness for the ambient light. Most people will choose to put this on a lower setting. That way when motion is detected, there will be a significant noticeable change in the brightness from the lower setting to the higher setting. And of course, you can set custom rules and automations that work with other WISE devices. And you can create those rules right here in the WISE app. Now, as far as the scheduling goes, remember how we talked about dusk to dawn automation? The default for the floodlight is that it will turn on when the sun is setting and it will turn off when the sun rises. And that's it. That is the WISE Cam Floodlight V2. And we are so excited to bring you another innovative product with premium features at a price that's accessible to everyone. We'll see you next time.